Yesterday marked 33 years since Knight Rider first debuted on NBC on Sunday, September 26th. Oh boy, where do I begin? Last month I talked about the theme of the show, one man making a difference against insurmountable odds. Tonight I want to talk about the lasting appeal of one man and his car. I think the longevity of the show is that it's the altruistic ideals of what a man tasks himself with, wanting to better a person's life and pushing himself and his car to their limits. Heart. That is the key aspect of why the show has endured for so long. You cheer for Michael and Kit in their endeavors through four seasons in the show's original run in the 1980s. Whether it's Peter McCord from season two's Brothers Keeper to helping out the bad apples from season three, or to see Michael rehabilitating Kit in Junkyard Dog, of which is still a major fan favorite episode to this day. I think that story resonates so well because it touched a nerve with fans. I'm going to go into that. Before the episode, Kit was practically indestructible and able to find ways of saving himself and Michael. But on that occasion, both he and Michael were powerless to save himself, and I think it was the heartbreak that to once everyone thought he was untouchable and he was humbled in possibly the biggest way when he sunk into the acid. It was something that people could relate to in some way when they had taken a huge knock to the system and found it challenging to regain their nerve. Kit had lost his nerve and Michael was the one who helped him get it back. For 33 years, people have their own special fond recollection of Knight Rider as to why they keep coming back to watch the show or find that one episode that made them stick with it. For me, when I look back at the original pilot episode, later known as Night of the Phoenix, I see that as the genesis of what was to come, what would shape the series and see these characters take on a larger than life presence. And it taught the right lessons to people without forcing it down their throats and that helped to make it a feel good show. When you have a story that inspires its audience to be a better person and to actually go out into the world and better yourself and others, shows that you did something right. You made a difference. Now true, the follow-ups in Knight Rider 2000, Team Knight Rider, ugh, and Knight Rider SG weren't as successful as the original. Although, I still contest to this day that SG was a real decent show that deserved one more season just to establish themselves properly, but what would I know? I just do logic and call it like I see it, considering their final episode came at number two against American Idol. Not many shows can do that. Even then, the basic DNA of the original show was there. Whether it was one, whether it was one man or one team, they were trying to better the innocent and the people that were wronged. It's the notion of the good guys never giving up, and that was what Knight Rider taught me, to do the right thing and never give up. And on the weekend of its 33rd anniversary, I want to say personally thank you to David Hasselhoff for making Michael Knight such a good role model for all young men growing up. Thank you to William Daniels for making Kit such a great character. And thank you to the late, great Glenn Larson for creating this world of wonderful stories and its two leading characters that have touched so many lives for 33 years. I know I keep saying this, but it's so, so true. One man can make a difference. And may that man keep making a difference for another 33, 50, 100, 150 years. Hopefully in the 23rd century, 
they will still be quoting David Hasselhoff or even Mike or even Michael Knight where do you you know look at the two separately or as one person I hope in some 200 years time they will still quote one man can make a difference until next time folks good night from the night